A load of good news for pipe smokers arrives at a London factory. These sacks are full of briar root from Algiers, which will soon be doing its bit to ease the pipe shortage. This is the stuff from which all briars are made, but not every piece will do. Mr. Chariton, whose family has been making pipes for 70 years, selects a straight grain piece which is used for the best quality goods and hands it over to be cut into shape on a circular saw. After the wood has been cut roughly to shape, it's put into a steel chuck ready for the next operation. This is the machine on which the head of the bowl is turned. A sliding platform comes along and the tool eats the wood into shape in a matter of seconds. The pipe then goes into another chuck where the stem is turned. The next thing to do is to take off those edges. These are phrased away, as they call it, by steel cutters revolving 3,000 times a minute. And now it's really beginning to look like a pipe. The bowl now goes to a woman operator who finishes the shaping and smooths the surface on a sandpaper wheel. But there's still plenty to be done. The next stage is to polish the bowl on a revolving buff with a mixture of finely powdered pumice stone and oil. After that, a hole is drilled in the stem, ready to be fitted to the mouthpiece. Now the mouthpiece and bowl must be finely shaped so that they make an airtight joint. We've nearly reached the final stage in the proceedings. The bowl and mouthpiece are forced together so that the fit shall be exact. And that's all as regard the making. But there is one last process before the pipes can be put in the tobacconist's window, the final polishing. The polished pipe, if it's of first quality, is treated with linseed oil to show up the graining. After this has been removed with spirit, the whole job is finished by friction polish on mops, which go round at 50 revolutions a second. And there it is, ready to take its place beside the other pipes in the window. So now you'll know what went on before the tobacconist was able to say to you, I've just got some nice new pipes in, sir. <laughs>